All right. Um, I was thinking maybe I should give a more in-depth uh, tutorial to the converting sound to image using a spectrogram because I explained how to do it, but I didn't really explain why it was doing it and what was going on. Um, so I'm in FooBar right now, which is a free music player, just like uh, iTunes is, except this one has a built-in spectrogram. And a spectrogram, pretty much what it does is it shows pitch and frequencies over time. Um, say you play a note, and the higher the note, the higher up the image, and the lower the note, the lower down the image is. Uh, the louder the the sound is, the more white and more visible it will be on the spectrogram, and the the less you can hear it, the more darker it will be. Uh, this should kind of explain it. Oh gosh. Yeah. So that's pretty much what's happening. Um, so if we go to bitmaps and waves, which is the thing we use to convert our image to sound, if we load it up, our image, which will be a picture I've done, and we convert it, and it'll convert it to sound. And it's just trying to fill in the image using the correct pitches and the correct volumes. So we'll save it as I've already saved it somewhere. Picture dot wave. We'll replace it. And when we open it up, the sound. But if we open it up with the spectrogram, you can see exactly what's going on. And when it's high, the high up eye, you can, it's really high pitched. And when it goes to something low down, it's a lot deeper. And uh, lower frequency. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching.